what is up guys welcome back to mr tech boss as you can see xiaomi eu miui 12 stable is finally here for redmi k20 pro and a few other devices so without any further ado let's get started Alright, so guys, before we start, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to stay up to date about ROMs related to Redmi K20 Pro or Mi 90 Pro. So now that you've done that, let's get started. So let's get the basics out of the way first. So it comes with, let's see. So it comes with uh, not the latest security patch and it comes with the May, first May security patch. But uh, yeah, these are other things if you want to go over them. But anyway, indeed, as you can see, I'm running the MIUI 12.0.1 uh, Xiaomi EU, and this is based off of Xiaomi EU China. No, this is based off of China Stable, which was released just yesterday night. But yeah, so they already released the ROM, so that is a great thing. But yeah, one thing I noticed was uh, let's get the changes out of the way first. So, firstly, when we go down to security. So what they've done is added a new fingerprint animation. So as you can see, there are five instead of four. So these are the normal fours, but four, but they've ported this one from Redmi K30 Pro. So that's a great thing. And I don't think this is in China stable. So, so EU has ported it, but I'm not sure if it is on China, but let me know in the description below. All right, so guys, if you're wondering what does it say under what's new, and so this is it, you I told China stable. But yeah, so this is basically all the changes from China. Some are actually missing. So if we go into focus mode or actually screen time, so this is the previous layout, but like not the MIUI 11 layout. This is the first MIUI 12 layout. So yeah, it is um, there's like on the China beta, it's a bit different. But yeah, so this is the only difference I've been able to find. I've found so far on the China stable compared to China beta. Now, what else I noticed is that once you when you open the control center it's pretty smooth it's like really really smooth the same as indian stable beta as i said before that was the smoothest for opening control center now it's the same in china stable so you don't have to worry about frame drops in these at least i haven't found any frame drop maybe you will find a frame drop once you're opening the control center for the first time but yeah that is uh, basically it so now let's see if they have added the new filters that were added in the last beta build so let's see if they're here so if we go into filters and then hey so if we go here filters and as you can see let me actually darken the screen a little bit those two new screens or filters they're not here yet but you still do have clone mode so you don't really need to worry about it too much now i installed this rom like an hour or so ago so obviously i don't have anything to say about the battery life but what i do want to show you is the new ui if you're coming from china stable so you will love this new battery ui it just looks cooler and more minimal and more modern what are we going to call it now also it does obviously have the super wallpapers so let's see wallpaper so super wallpapers it does have those two wallpapers you can use them without any problems so let's actually apply this one so yeah, now what I do also want to show you guys is the launcher version. So if you're some techie geek or whatever, so I want to show you guys the launcher version. So if we go to apps, just let me find apps, uh, manage apps. So it's based upon this launcher and obviously Xiaomi EU guys have modified it to, edit, uh, to add all the other options. So these are the available customizations you can make it with app drawer and whatever you want to do so yeah you do have a bunch of options here too also guys i want to do a quick uh, fingerprint test and see how fast it is so it's i did notice it is a bit faster than the last beta that i had tested so that's a great addition i mean it, it's quite fast actually like it wasn't ever this fast before so that's a great new addition now let's quickly do a super fast app opening test and see if there are frame drops if you are my subscriber you should already know about this but anyway let me show you guys so i open a couple of apps and see if there are frame drops so firstly in the first round i normally open them just slowly so they're in the background so let's see how it goes yeah there are a few frame drops i can see i can tell you guys that right now Yeah, 
definitely as you can see there are frame drops i'm actually recording in 30 fps because it's just too dark and i don't have a i don't have money to afford a light so if i record in 60 fps it just becomes a bit too dark for for a good video but yeah i can tell you that there are some frame drops so do expect that in normal usage if you're a heavy multitasker like you switch between apps a lot you will notice frame drops without any doubts all right so now let's move on to the installation all right so guys uh, i actually forgot to record this part with the camera but i'm recording with my ipad real quick so what you need to do is wipe system deal with cache data and vendor not internal storage so just wipe it i'm not going to do it because i've already flashed the rom but and then the steps is the firstly you uh, after wiping those four or five petitions then you select the first xiaomi eu the stable build which is linked down below and if you're using f2fs you're supposed to use this but if you're using regular ext4 so basically if you don't know what f2fs is the second thing you should have is dfe and then pass reset if you weren't you previously encrypted and dfe is optional and that is only if you want to stay decrypted and you might want to stay decrypted if you're switching roms on a daily basis but yeah after that after those four or five things just select your backup if you have a migrate backup but yeah that's it then just go back and flash all these five let them flash and uh, that is basically about it just to reboot after that but guys that is basically about it if you're still watching thank you please make sure to subscribe and like this video this is Puzel Hamid from Mr. Tech Boss signing off